Hi, I'm Patricia. I'm the fashion instructor and owner of Oud Fashion Studio, and I teach aspiring designers to pursue their passion. In this episode, I'm going to teach you a little bit about textile science. As an instructor, I get asked often about identifying fabric and choosing the right fabric for the design or just not understanding how to select fabric. And it really is important when you're becoming a designer or you're learning how to become a designer to take a little bit of time to learn some basics of textile science. I know it sounds boring, but it really will make a big difference if you just take a little time to learn and identify fabrics so that when you move ahead as a designer, you're able to know what to order, what to ask for, and how to select fabrics for the proper design. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks by performing a burn test on three different fabrics. We're gonna do polyester, cotton, and silk. And the reason I chose the three is because they're, they burn very differently and they're like the three common fabrics that most people use. Obviously, there's a lot more fabrics on the market and there's like blends of everything, but I figured the three would be the easiest that you can do so that you can see the difference between the three and how they burn. Now, you wanna look for four things when you do a burn test. You wanna look for what it, how the ash looks while it's burning, how it smells, what the residue or the ash looks like, and the after effect. What does it look like once it's burned, once it's finished burning? How does it look? So those are the four things you want to look for. Create yourself a little log so that you can add these findings and you can remember what they are later. Um, there's a few tools, a few tools that you'll need in your uh, studio that so that you can perform this burn test. First, you want like a glass bowl or maybe like a aluminum tray, like the kind that you would use in your kitchen or something that's not gonna burn, but don't use plastic because plastic can melt, you're dealing with fire, so you have to be really careful. Obviously glass isn't gonna go up in flame, so it's a safe one to use. Um, you also want a lighter or some sort of um, small lighter that you can use, a tea light, a candle will work as well, but don't use matches because once you strike a match, and it starts to burn, it burns really quick and you could burn your hands. And not only that, the smell of the sulfur and the match is going to change the smell of the, fi of the fiber when it's, when it's burning. So it's gonna give you a false reading as well. And really part of the burn test is to identify the smell as well. So stay away from matches. Um, you also need something to hold your fabric swatch with. This is from the kitchen. So a lot of people have this. You can also use tweezers. They're a little shorter, so you have to really be careful. But you know, something like this, uh, it's longer and you know, you, you'll have less of a chance to burn your hand. Um, you also want swatches. I have a cotton swatch, which is small, a silk swatch, and a polyester swatch. You don't want to cut your swatches way too big because once you light these up, some tend to go up in flames and you know, you don't want to like burn down your house or, or anything. So let's, let's keep it under control and just have a small swatch. Um, and then if you haven't, if you need to cut down your swatches a little bit more, you can always have a pair of um, fabric shears handy so that you can trim it down more. I'm actually going to trim down this a little bit more. I think it's a little too long. But the first one we're going to burn is cotton. So what do we know about cotton? Cotton is a natural fiber. It's composed of cellulose. If you don't know what cellulose is, it basically means it's plant-based. Um, there's also uh, natural fiber. Well, it's considered a natural fiber. You have silk that's also a natural fiber, but it's a protein based. So there's a difference there. Uh, we're going to check to see how it burns, what the smell is, what the residue is, and what it looks like afterwards. All right, let's get started. So we're going to take your tongs, put it on your fabric, take your lighter, and then ignite it slowly and over your bowl. See how quickly that ignited? You wanna look at how it's burning. So there's definitely a glow and it's burning fairly quick. 
and the smell remember i said it's cellulose cellulose basically it's going to smell like paper so remember how cotton is grown so it's all plant based so you know it kind of smells like papery and it basically burned to nothing there's like it just completely consumed it and um there's a little bit of an ash not much so the next one we're going to burn is polyester so what do we know about polyester it's a man-made fiber and plastic if you've ever melted plastic you kind of you kind of know what it smells like and what it looks like when it melts so let's take a look at that and it's also it's considered thermal plastic which basically means that it melts and it can be reformed into something else i mean we do that all the time when we recycle plastic so this has come from uh, recycled bottles. So if you ever do research on polyester fabric, you're gonna learn that it, most of it comes from recycled bottles. So you're wearing plastic bottles. <laughs> okay, so let's burn this and check to see how it actually burns. You see how quickly it curled away? I'm gonna drop that in. Look at how quickly it it curled away and not only that if you look closely do you see the gooeyness how it melted I know it's a little hard to see look at how it's melted into pla basically plastic and there's a hard edge and curled away. So also polyester does not wick away sweat or water. It is it is not it doesn't absorb water like it do, like um, cotton does. So they're complete opposites. That's why a lot of the time you don't want to wear polyester in the summer or humidity because it doesn't breathe. It's too hot to wear and where cotton is the complete opposite. Okay, so the last one we're gonna burn is silk. Silk is also a natural fiber. I had mentioned before that it comes, it's protein based. It's mainly composed of proteins because it comes from silk worms. Um, this one burns very differently from the rest. Okay, so look at all the smoke. It's very, very smoky. And this one's actually igniting pretty quickly, but it stops right away. And if you look closely, I know it's hard to tell. There's a lot of beading. Look at the edges. And it smells horrible. If you've ever burnt your hair on a curling iron or a hair dryer, that's basically what it smells like. So you'll remember that smell compared to the cotton. It's very, very different. So those are all the little tricks that you, um, you know, the trick that you can do at home to help, help you identify fibers. Obviously there's more fabrics that you can do a burn test on, but if you have any swatches or any fabrics at home that you wanna test because you just can't remember what you have anymore, try the burn test. It will help you learn how to identify fibers and it'll make it so much easier when you go and you buy fabric, especially when you go to like the garment district um, so that you know what you're buying and you can ask for the proper thing. Lots of times, um, I know this has happened to me before and this is why you really need to learn how to identify fibers. They will try and sell you something that's not what you ask for. Um, you'll ask for silk and they'll try and sell you polyester. Now, if you know the difference, you'll start to learn what polyester and what, what a silk feel like. And that's all comes down to learning how to identify your fiber. So take the time and, you know, learn how to do little things like this so that you can develop as a designer and really know your, your, your craft. So I hope these tips helped. Let me know if you've tried it and I love to hear what your results were. Thanks for watching.